Why am I so sweaty today? It's not even that hot down here. What's going on, you guys? I was going to make a video today where I was going to show you my passive play style as a solo player and my aggressive play style as a solo player. But then I was making it and the passive was really good. I was teaching you guys a lot of things and my aggressive, I was just like, hey, here's what you do. You go try to find a helicopter before a gun or if you're in a hot area like you're near the boat or you're near the um you're near the server room just go to that it wasn't like i don't know even though my aggressive i came out with way better stuff in the aggressive play style i just don't feel like i was teaching you guys enough and that's what i'm really trying to get going here in this whole video right i want to teach you guys and give you guys some of my really good pointers and I wasn't really giving you any in the aggressive, so I, I just took it out completely. Plus, if I added the aggressive, it was gonna be like a 45 minute video. You don't wanna see my face for 45 minutes. So I cut that out, and I just wanna let you know that we did change a couple of things up. So in the video, if I talk about an aggressive play style or something, that's what I'm, I'm talking about, but you don't need that. To be honest, you're learning a crap ton of stuff just with this passive play style. And then you just wanna change it as you go. So I'm really sorry, you guys, but as edit, as I'm editing, I just want the best for you guys. And, and I do think this is just the best video in a cram down version. Yeah. So let's start with the character. We're always Gus, we're the lone wolf. I'm always this character just cause I'm a lone wolf. I play solo all the time and just fits the whole aesthetic, right? So I love this character, Gus. Uh, we're gonna go with the stim. This is where a lot of people might get really upset at me and they'll be like, geeks, you're going zero to hero. Why use Semtex? I like Semtex. I hate riot shielders so much that I would rather have Semtex on the ready in a zero to hero run than have a throwing knife. I know, listen, if, if you wanna play this style, it won't make much of a difference if you do use a throwing knife, but that's the best part about DMZ, I think is like, you can tell me to use this gun, I can tell you to use this gun, and the chances are you're gonna be pretty successful with both. And that's what I love about DMZ, right? With the lethal, listen, the throwing knife is really good for zero to hero, don't get me wrong, if you wanna do that, you can, but I just feel comfortable with my Semtex. Uh, the field upgrade, listen, for some reason, there's a glitch right now with field upgrades that lets you keep the revive pistol, but that's not, that's not real. So what I'm, I am going to do is I'm going to go to my usual, which is the munitions box. I, I don't know why there's a glitch in the game. It's the same reason why Gus, my, my, my skin doesn't work in the game. It's just a glitch that's happening right now, but let's go in. I'm going to first show you the passive play style that I would do. Um, and then after that raid, I will do a, an aggressive play style. And I want to let you guys know that I am going to give you guys such a great tip. Uh, one of my favorite new solo tips was season three. Like it is fantastic. And yes, that is me trying to bait you to watch this video because I think the tip's pretty good, okay? I'm gonna be honest, the tip's pretty good, but I am baiting you at the same time. I'm gonna let you know, I'm being honest, I'm Canadian, I have to. So before we start this whole thing, I just want you guys to know it's just pixels. This is something I tell people over and over again. It's okay if you die. It's, it's, it's quite all right because it's just pixels. Don't worry, I know it's your pixels and you worked hard for them, but especially when you're going zero to hero, expect to die. You know what I mean? You're going in there with nothing. And if you lose, guess what? You can start with the same stuff you came in with. So it's not a big deal. You should just be looking at, you know, the 30% or 20% the, of times that you do get out and you do come out with some armor, some backpacks, some guns, you know, stay positive. That's all I want you guys to know is just stay positive during zero to hero runs. You're not losing anything, but yes, you are losing time, but it is a video game. You're going to have fun. Again, it's only pixels, you guys. Just a little bit of a warning also, I just wanna throw this out there. We are playing on a Saturday afternoon, so it's not like, oh, geeks, you're just playing in a, during the day on a Monday. No, I'm playing Saturday afternoon at like three o'clock. It's, it's prime time, baby. This is where the sweats come out. This is where the angry people come out. Yeah, so playing passive is very smart to play on a Saturday, to be honest. Oh, Welcome little glitch. Okay, so this spawn, it's actually a really good spawn, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was playing aggressive, to be honest, if I was playing aggressive right away, I would be going to the stronghold to jump into the server room, but we're not playing aggressive, we're playing passive. Now the thing you need to know is you're probably going to want to get a gun right away, right? So if you want a gun, there's, there's two general ways about doing it. You can kill AI for it, and that's pretty much the best way. 
And to do that, you can either use your fists, you can use uh, your lethals, or hey, my favorite one, get a car, run one over, grab their gun, and then get out with that car again. That's probably my favorite way in Zero to Hero. The second way is actually us just finding it in a building, in a crate. You know, it's up to us, but let's see what we have around us before we start making decisions. We've got nothing around us. Um, we do have this area. This area is actually, this is cabana. I call it the cabana. Really good for uh, drinks and such. Sometimes it does have a buy station, which is huge, but the buy station right now spawns over here. So for us, what I am probably going to do is I'm going to look at these places right here. We might loot some of these places, and then I'm going to go after that SUV. Um, I'm going to grab a gun with this SUV, and then we're going to go to the secure supplies. Now, again, us playing this style, the one thing I want you to remember, though, is that when you get into a vehicle, everyone can see you on the map, right? And you, you probably drive like me, sporadic and, and crazily, that people are very um are able to easily tell hey that's that's player driving that's that's not ai because you just drive all willy-nilly and it's the same reason i tell you guys not to use a stealth vest really on almazra and that's because most of the time you are uh trying to go from point a to point b it's a really long run so you always take a vehicle so in my head it's kind of just not the smartest right i wouldn't say the smartest to use a, a vehicle if you're trying to be passive Oh, a bandage. We're going to take that bandage because we want to... Oh, we're going to run away. Actually, you know what? We're not going to run away. Hold on. We're going to do that. Hopefully, both of them die. They do. Oh. Okay, got the other one. Shotgun. Vaznev, one of my favorite ground loot. <sighs> Guys. I'm, I'm not trying to say, like, streamer luck here or content creator luck, but finding a self revive which is one of the most important things i was going to tell you guys after picking up a gun that's pretty op so we got what we wanted i'm probably going to be honest with you i'm just going to boogaloo now we've got a self revive we've got a decent gun which is the vaznev the shotgun man oh there's a safe i i just don't feel confident in us doing the safe right now but again hey let's remember where it was so that we can maybe do it later right Let's now, I've got a gun. I don't need that vehicle. We're going to right now go to the scavenger contract. And this is a new contract they added in season three. Not many people go to it, to be honest. And it's actually pretty juicy for a zero to hero run. It'll probably give us a tier two armor and a tier two backpack, or at least one of the other. Um, after we got these guns, I was going to tell you guys, hey, let's try to figure out how to get self revives or look into just you know looting a bunch of houses because every house has a bathroom in it and you can go into these little medicine cabinets and then look for self revive so i would have done that or gone to hospitals right away and try to find a, a self revive and because of course I, I i do content for a living i have a video all on where the hospitals are in almazra so it's i'll put it up here that's what the thumbnail looks like it'll be in the description down below but it's some of the most useful information honestly for everyone to know and that is where the hospitals are they're always the same location for alamazra and they're just so good for you to memorize so right now we're just going to go to the secure three supply boxes because why not free loot i'm actually going to take this battery with me only because to be honest, it, it is because I, I like the comms vest so much and in my head I know that I'm going to want to probably grab it in a bit. So I'm just going to grab it in case. And uh, the thing is, listen, if we find something better, I have no qualms with just, you know, dropping this battery. You have to remember that, right? Is pick stuff up until you're full and then once you find better stuff, then start putting the other stuff in place of that. But you should always not be worried about filling up your backpack. It's not a big deal. Okay, there's our two plate. Ultra one supply box secured. You're clear to proceed to the next objective. Okay, let's now move. Actually, we'll again we'll look for the bathroom. Nothing. Okay. There's usually a ton of AI here, so I'm just trying to be sneaky. Right? I'm trying to be sneaky here. I don't want to make a lot of noise. I don't want to get into fights right now. Okay, here's the second supply. 
Look at that. Self revive, you guys. Ultra One supplies are open. Take what you need and move to the next I, drop zone. I swear by the secure supply contract, and not enough people are using them, to be honest. Not enough. Oh, hey, look. At and the backpack. Ultra Another one, munitions box. Secure. Solid work. So, I have. Oh. Where are you? Where are you? Show yourself. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go look for a couple of guns I like. I do want to kill an AI and show you one of my favorite tricks now for season three, but I need to find that RPK. So if we have to find an RPK, there should be some guys around. Yeah, there should be guys around here. Let's go. Let's go actually uh, fight some players or some AI so that we can get some. Uh, so some of the guns. I want to show you a trick with the RPK. You know what? We can do the same thing with the cast off too. Actually, we can we, we can do the same thing with the cast off. I'm going to show you both tricks. I just ran away from that area because we were making way too much noise, to be honest. And uh, I d I just didn't feel safe in that location. And we've been getting a lot of messages lately on on YouTube. I've been getting a lot being like, "Hey, it seems like in the DMZ, everyone knows it, where I am exactly on the map and kill me right away." And what I always respond with them is it's probably because you're fighting a lot of AI and making a lot of noise by fighting AI. Tons of players can hear that. Tons of players can see that the, 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 the bullet tracers and everything. And they're like, okay, someone's over in this vicinity. You have no idea how many times I can pinpoint where players are only because I'm driving by walking by and I just hear a fight and I'm like, Oh, there, there's players here because AI won't just fight random AI, right? So you have to remember, okay, that's uh, it's probably a player over here. So if they're looking for a fight, they are going to find you. Okay, AI is going to come down. Um, I'm going to want that RPK for sure. And I want this cast off. I'm going to show you guys the trick with both these guns. Um, since they added uh, the workbench in season three, this is one of the biggest... Um, the biggest the tips area. I can give you Stay as a sharp. solo player, right? Now, I have a self-revive, a self-revive pistol. Um, I've got two guns that I'm going to make actually really good. And I think this is where we, we end it pretty much, right, guys? Is This is where I'm thinking, okay, we're almost done here. Like, I just want to grab one more gun to put it in my backpack. And then we're going to reset spaghetti. In a passive play style... You want to get all this stuff going and then you want to bring in probably some decent guns because you're going to come in with a tier two armor, tier two backpack. Um, you are going to have you you are going to have already yourself revives. This is where you can feel a little more confident, play a little more aggressive, but you just want to make sure that you're going to find everything that you need now. We're going to keep in the back of our head that there is a hard drive here. And I already have one bandage because in here, if we can find, um, if we can find, um, uh, some soothing hand Ultra cream, we can actually craft something. So we can easily get two batteries. We can get two hard drives from up here and we can, we have a buy station right near it. So what we're looking for is soothing hand cream. If, if we find it awesome, if not. I'm not going to go out of my way. There's tier three armor. We're laughing. We are laughing. So we are going to go out of the back of this police station here. And we're just going to, again, try not to make a lot of hubbub. Um, sometimes, even if I know that the hospital got hit, I'm still going to go and and try to uh, loot it. Actually, this place, the, the grocery store, might actually be the place for us to find our soothing hand cream. Mm. Yep, it is. Soothing hand cream. Okay, so now we'll go back. So we have our two batteries. We have our soothing hand cream. Now all we have to do is go upstairs, find those hard drives. I think there was one here. No? What are the chances of them not having one hard drive in there, eh? Hey. I'm just shocked. But anyways, there was one hanging around somewhere. So I'm probably going to try to find it again. Try to pick it up. And here's the thing. I know right now in the video, you guys are like, geeks, it's blah, blah, blah. It's at the blah, blah, blah. Sorry, guys. Oh, perfect gun for our third gun, right? Perfect. There's the hard drive. Perfect. Okay. 
Was there another hard drive outside? There was. So most of the time I wouldn't go for my comms vest or stealth vest or whatever you want, but because everything kind of fell in our lap and we we're just kind of passing through, it, it, it's smart for us to do it. Okay, let's grab our comms vest to just know if anyone's around us, right? And we will grab a couple of plates here. Okay. I want to go here to this workbench because this is one of those tips that I was telling you guys my number one tip for uh, Zero to Hero and just with this gun, right? This is the tip you guys have been waiting for. Uh, you see these two guns, the Cast Off 74U and the RPK? Right now, they should have way better uh, magazine sizes, but because they don't always want to drop the Cast Off with the 30 rounder or the RPK with the usual 75 rounder, they mod it with the 30 rounder, so that's what drops more in Almazra. Not the 75 round RPK, but the 30 round RPK. Now, you don't have to mod these. You can just take the mods off and it's free, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to this magazine and see how it says destroy. It's for zero dollars. I destroy and now it has the normal 30 round mag. Now with the RPK, it's even better. The RPK, I'm going to destroy and it's going to come back now with the 75 round mag. Now, when it comes to modding guns, the first thing that I'm going to want to do, especially with this RPK, because it has 75 rounds, it's a fantastic gun. I, re I really just want to grab a muzzle on it. I want to grab the Talon. That's that's probably the, the one that I use the most. I'm going to put a Talon on it. Then after that, I'm going to throw an optic and then everything else comes after that. But I, I prefer the muzzle over everything right away because I want to be silent, right? So here, let's recap here. We've got, we've got three guns. They're not the best guns, but they're good guns. We have three guns. We have a self revive, a revive pistol. We've got the comms vest and a medium backpack. It's time for us to leave you guys. Now, when we look at extracts, you know, I, I would be picking this one, but because I have a comms vest right now, we could do rescue hostage actually the rpk 75 round mag let's 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 go there first let's go see if we can go there first there's no uh downside for you to just take a contract end up not liking it and then getting rid of it so why i say that is because we are going to try to grab this rescue hostage mission and what we're going to do is we're going to see if it's in a, a a building that makes it so that it's easier for us to go inside meaning i can shoot the ai from the outside and then it, there's like only two or three guys left and we can just wipe them and then get the hostage, right? So we're gonna go in here. Let's find it again. Again, you guys, number one tip too is always be searching washrooms, always. Okay, so we're now gonna get out. Ooh, this is, this is a tough one. Okay, here's the thing. I know for a fact, it's pro the the a the guy okay this is a really good one because i can see the ai through here and also know that he's probably on the third floor so again i have a silencer on here so it's not going to really notify a lot of people radiation is spreading right now but it's spreading from up here so we have time let's grab this get out of that okay there we go just using our old noggin that's the Canadian that's the Canadian noggin right there you guys okay oh there he is okay okay boom thank you I thought I was going to die. Ultra one. Okay, let's find out where he is. Okay, it's over there. Now, what I might do is I might wait a couple of seconds here. A, for the vehicle, for the helicopter to get here, but for the AI to also calm the F down. Because right now, they're, they're just on high alert, going nuts. I just want to take a second. 
And let's see if we can drop this guy on top of the vehicle here. There we go. Exfil bird mark. So there's our exfil bird. Okay. He's just on the on, on our hood here. Just take our time, guys. Just take our time. It's our exfil. Okay. Okay. You know what? Not very good at driving. Don't need to. Don't need to. So let's just let's just run up like we're. I don't know. Like we can imagine running up a mountain with someone on your shoulders, eh? Jesus. Anyways, we'll run up here. Okay. I thought that AI truck was coming down here, so I was just leaving. Now we'll just go on to our. Okay. I do hear someone, but we're just we're ignoring them. Oh. Sounded like someone tried to snipe me. That sucks. Serpentine. Oh my god. Hey dude, GG's bud. GG's. Sometimes there's just players there. It's out of your control. And again, I'm going to reiterate what I said at the beginning, guys. It's just pixels. We got to where we were. We got to where we were from zero. So we can do it again, right? We can do it again. You, you, can't, you can't get upset. You, you just can't get upset at situations like that. I'm really sorry, you guys. I, I wish I did the video like I thought in my head, but just rewatching it, I just, it didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense why to show you aggressive when all really, here, I'll even break down what aggressive is. Aggressive is me starting. At the start, you try to find a helicopter right away. That's my first thing. If I'm playing aggressive zero to hero, I want to find a helicopter. If there's one with uh, near me, I'm going to be shooting for that right away, even before a weapon. And then right when I get that helicopter, I'm going to a hot area like uh, the ship or I'm going to go to the server room, which I did in uh, it, you didn't see. But I went to the server room and I got a bunch of loot. I actually got a GPU. It was nuts. But like I'm not really teaching anything there. Right. So I just thought to drop it. I thought this passive me talking about everything I did in this video and explaining some things really would help more people than me being like, hey, you're only going to survive 30% of these runs, but if you just go to these hot areas, you might survive and get a bunch of loot. I just don't think that's a really fun way of playing, to be honest, especially if you're not that experienced. So I believe the video that I just did and edited is way better than it being the aggressive and passive, but who knows, maybe I'll, I'll make an aggressive video later. Either way, thank you guys so much for uh, sticking around, watching the video. Uh, if you guys haven't, hey, subscribe to the channel. It's free for you guys. It means the world to me. And until next time, I'll talk to everyone later.